Hi all, I'm on the run today so we're doing videos in the car. By the way, we missed our gig tip this week so let's just call this a Tuesday DJ gig tip brought to you by Vibo, the music planning app. I saw a post on social media where somebody was asking how come bar and club DJs don't charge a lot of money? How come they're still charging what they charged 15 years ago? What's going on with that? I know it's less work than a wedding, but why are they not making a lot of money? There are a lot of answers to this question. And, you know, some places pay better than others. Some DJs make more than others. But I have some interesting insight on this I wanted to share because if you follow my videos, you know that I recently went back to the club I was working at 30 years ago, over 30 years ago, I started this place, left 25 years ago, came back for an emergency New Year's Eve gig, recently just did another gig for the place, and I was talking to one of the bartenders, and he said to me, I really liked what you did, it was interesting because I'd never seen a DJ do this, you played to the audience that was in front of you. When you think about it, yeah, there are a lot of DJs out there who specialize in what they do. Maybe they're hip-hop DJs or house DJs or techno DJs or EDM DJs or whatever the case may be. That's what they play. So you hire them and that's what you hear. Well, I'm what you might call an open format DJ where I can play all kinds of things. I don't specialize in anything in particular. So I'm able to kind of be a chameleon and I'm able to play to the audience in front of me. That was one thing that I thought was interesting. So maybe a lot of DJs today out there aren't playing to their audience like they should. Another thing that I've been doing for many years, working in clubs, is I rotate the crowd. So let's say that I bring a bunch of people out for, I don't know, EDM, for instance, just as an example. I'll do like three or four really hot EDM songs and then I'll switch it to something else because I'm open format. The EDM people will leave the dance floor and I'll bring out, I don't know, let's say a hip hop crowd. They'll start dancing. Well, the EDM people are good and thirsty now so they go to the bar and order drinks, right? In the meantime, I'm getting the hip hop people thirsty. Three songs later, I kill it. They go to the bar and start drinking. I bring back out the EDM people. You see where I'm going with this? You got to remember that when you're doing a wedding, you're providing a service, right, to somebody. And they're not making any money at this. They're just getting married. And, you know, the better service you provide, usually the more you can command for price. But when it comes to things like nightclubs, okay, or bars, it's about them making money. This is a business. What are you doing as a DJ for them to make more money? If you're not doing anything to help them make more money, you're really not worth much. But if you know how to help them make money, then you'll be more valuable as a DJ. There are some DJs who actually get a percentage of bar or the door or something, you know, when they're promoting their services. I'm not a promote guy. I'm not a guy that go on social media and say, hey, here's my sexy picture, and here is me with my headphones on and my pose, and you can see me at this place tonight. I'm not that guy. There's nothing wrong with being that guy. I'm just not that guy. I'm the guy who shows up and the marquee just says DJ tonight, or any advertisements they put out there just says DJ tonight, not me or anybody else. Whoever shows up, I play too and I rotate. And something that I started doing probably about 20 years ago when I worked clubs is, you know, when I first start working at a place, after a night or two, I'll ask management, hey, just out of curiosity, did you make more money with me than you did the DJ on Friday night? The answer is always yes because I know how to make the establishment money. I have empathy for the crowd, I have empathy for the bar, and I'm not being self-indulgent up there. That's how I'm able to make the money that I make 
doing things like clubs. And it's been a while, but I'm going back into rotation at this place because of these things. So just some insight. Thought maybe I'd share it with you. Maybe somebody gets something out of it. But uh, that's what I got for you this week for Tuesday DJ Gig Tips on a Friday. And who knows when I'm going to get it posted. But we'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Practice and enjoy.